I'm sure I'll find out the hard way, though. Of that, I am certain. Oh, I ran! Did I run? Did I run? Did I run? Set me a timer for ten minutes. If I haven't beat this, then I'm quitting. Ah! Let's go. <laughs> Sandy's Tree Dome at eight. A.M. I have never heard a single good thing about this level. I've never heard somebody say, hey, Dom, this level's fun. Hey, Dom, you're going to have a blast. Hey, Dom, I beat this level in 10 minutes. I've never heard a single motherfucker on this planet or any other say any sh like that, and I'm already tilted. Let me just run this shit. Let me just run the shit. Let's motherfucking Yeah. Y'all some demons for making me play this shit. Real talk. Real talk. Without the prince to command. I don't care. I forgot. I don't give a fuck about the story. And this is some shit with Dirty Dan, I'm sure. And Sandy's big ass is almost certainly not a fan of mine. Time to get my ass beat. Let's see what's happening. Fuck. So it is 8 a.m., but y'all see the metal fucking dome she's got around her shit? Yeah, that means it's still gonna be dark as fuck, even though it's supposed to be bright because it's 8 a.m. Shit. Okay. Well, it looks like Sandy is hibernating uh, again. That means she made it out okay. What? No, I don't care. No. I don't care. No. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care! Here we go. Enter Sandy's tree. Oh no. Oh no, please. Fuck! Is Patrick coming in with me? Oh, for the love of the Lord, please no. For the love of the Lord, please no. I'm supposed to be doing something to this lock and maybe I would have learned it if I would have paid attention to the story, but I uh, certainly didn't do that. I guess I'm supposed to be walking around out here. Oh my God, is the bullshit already going? Am I already in danger or no? Remember the last time we were nosy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. What? I, I don't know. Um. So I'm going up this... Uh-oh. What's burning? Why is it dark as fuck? There's something burning. What the fuck? Ah! I did not just get killed by Sandy, though. I'm not even in Sandy's tree. How in the flying fuck could I get body? I'm not even in the tree, though. Am I? I don't know. Y'all know goddamn well I'm not paying attention to the story. Not one micro fucking shits. Not a lick. Not a single lick am I paying attention to the story. So I'm sure. I don't know what the fuck is happening, and I certainly don't know where the fuck that building is that I was in a second ago. Oh, there it is. Wait, Patrick, remember the last time we were nosy? <laughs> oh, yeah, she tore us to shreds. Oh, yeah. Oh, it said noisy. We shouldn't... Okay. Oh, right. Okay, so we are inside of her house. Despite the fact that we didn't go in through the front door? Oh, right. So if I would have actually paid attention, then I probably wouldn't have got body. But you know damn well I didn't do any of that. And so I did. Now the fire is definitely on the other side of that wall. But the thing I'm looking for is probably over here. Wait, can I really not take that? Oh, that's real fucking life. Why can't I take that? It's dark as fuck. So do not run under any circumstances that I have learned. Okay. Uh, building a flamethrower. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, fuck, no. Shit! Search for the... Oh. Oh, I'm not beating this. Oh, I'm telling you right now, I'm not beating this. So I gotta find eight components to a fucking flamethrower and not get bodied by Sandy. Oh, and by the way, there's a robot that looks like it makes a lot of noise, too. What's this yellow line? I don't know. 
Maybe you can't get tossed as long as you're on the right side of the yellow line. Oh, it says no running. Oh, maybe that is like the no running line. You know, if you run on the other side of that shit, you finna get body. Sounds like she's sleeping off to the right over there. Now, I don't understand how this could be difficult. If I can do the entire level without running, is it an instant win? Certainly not, because there must be something that makes noise. That I'm going to inadvertently trigger? What the fuck is that? And, uh... And it's going to get me fucked. You know, more or less, basically. Like, there must be, like, a tripwire or a bell... Or some fucking shit on the floor that's going to make a lot of noise. I just don't know what that is yet. I'm sure I'll find out the hard way, though. Of that, I am certain. Oh, I ran. Did I run? Did I run? Did I run? So, are the components not inside of this house, or they are? Do not run under any circumstances. That bitch looked loud as fuck. Am I wrong about that? I might be wrong about that. You can't do anything with that. Okay. Can't do anything with that. So is the flamethrower not in here? I think it might not be in here. Again, if I read the story, I might know that. But I'll be dead before I read the story. Fuck the story. I think I'm going to bounce. Oh, they are in here. Okay, right. So I've got this. Oh, wait. I think this is like a hair dryer. What the fuck is this thing? What did I just pick up? I don't know what this is. And I don't really want to try to use it. Because I'm not certain that it isn't loud as fuck. Oh! Here. Bring the hair dryer to the blueprint. Oh, okay. So it is updating my goal. I fucking ran. Can y'all see what that says? Ah! I have completely removed the shift key from my keyboard. I will not sprint under any circumstance except right now, moving forward. I think that's probably the toughest part of this fucking level is not accidentally sprinting. Because otherwise, I don't see another danger. So I'm just going to disable my ability to sprint altogether and hope that that really is the only danger. But there's no way that could be a thing, okay? Because I have heard nothing but bad things about this level. And if all anybody had to do was rip off the fucking shift key, there's no way that uh, this level would be that difficult. There, I just, I just don't believe it. There must be something else. Am I hearing something? Do I have to bring everyone back individually? Oh yeah, cause now I gotta go in by the fire, melt the bitch, and then put it on the table. Okay, I'm just gonna tell y'all something right now. If I go in here, and whatever the monster is that is also playing this game kills me, and I find out that you lose all of your pieces when you die, I'm done, and I'm never playing this again. Okay, just so y'all know, I fucking hate this game, it's trash! No running. Sure won't be doing that. I do like that this shit is close to the doorway. That I approve of. And close to the staircase. But there is certainly something else out here. I just don't know what. And I'm honestly trying to keep it that way, but also not. I almost sprinted, but my fucking key is gone. So that's actually a high IQ strat so far. Dude, I'm going to get killed by something I don't even fucking see. I can't even see the fucking ladder. I can't even see the fucking ladder to get out. That's how dark it is. Oh, this game is something fucking else. I'm sprinting. Oh, no, you can walk on top of 
the snow piles. Okay, which is kind of nice. Because then you can see down into the shit. What the? What the fuck? The nut alarm, 1,000, will track you down until his prime directive of waking me, no, not me, of waking Sandy up has been fulfilled. Enjoyed this gameplay of Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. This was the finale of this game. I will never, listen to me, I will never be back here playing this game ever again unless for some fucking reason this shit hits 8,000 likes. Okay, so before you type to me on Twitter, before you type to me in the comment section, before you say anything to me at all about this game ever again, I want you to go. Back to this video, I want you to look at the like to dislike ratio, and unless it says 8,000 shits on the like side, you can go straight to hell! I ain't playing this shit anymore! I'm done! Goodbye!